Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to introduce you to Software Defined Radio or SDR. So to understand SDR, first we need to talk about traditional radios. Uh, these traditional radios use analog circuits typically to demodulate you know, radio sig RF signals. Uh, this leads to high cost, uh, complexi complexity, and single purpose radios. Um, Due to advances in technology, you know, in recent years, like my laptop here, we now have computer processors capable of, you know, doing all that work for us. So, software-defined radio is kind of a transition of radio technologies uh, with the goal of getting rid of complicated hardware. So, we want to digi digitize an RF signal as quickly and easily as possible so we can run, you know, computer algorithms to process the radio signals in software. And what that allows us to do is use something like this SDR here, which is a $20 um, software-defined radio which can do a whole range of things which would have cost thousands of dollars in prior years. So how it works is uh, an antenna is connected to the input and the SDR takes in the RF signal from the antenna which is on top of my car currently. It um, digitizes that signal with a analog to digital converter and then sends the data um, packets uh, over USB into my laptop. So now in my laptop we are actually looking at as a demonstration, we are looking at a NOAA weather satellite, which is about to pass over Tampa in about 10 minutes. And this weather satellite transmits images, uh, which we can use with our software-defined radio program to receive the RF signal. And then once the signal has been received in the software, we can open it with another program and actually extract the images out of the digital data, which is the RF signal after it's been processed.